First, we need to make our Hawaiian rolls. We have two and a half teaspoons of yeast, one fourth a stick of butter, some warm milk, and one third of a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna leave this in, in our um, mixer for 10 minutes and let it, we'll mix it around a little bit, but we're gonna let it froth a bit and then we'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of pineapple juice. You just get a can of the crushed pineapple in juice and use that. And then we're gonna add two eggs that have already been beaten. Our um, pineapples at room temperature. And then I'm gonna work in four cups of flour. So, uh, I'll better do some of that here. This is, um, we're using all-purpose flour today. So, and one, and then we're gonna use the mixer for a minute, a minute and then we'll be right back. Okay, here's our second cup of flour. Okay, so we have two um, two cups of flour in here right now. Right now we're gonna add some crushed pineapple and one teaspoon of salt. And we're going to um, mix that in and then we're gonna add our third cup of flour. Here's our third cup of flour. Get one more. And here's our final cup of flour. We're gonna start this out in the mixer on low. And then as it gets incorporated, we're gonna um, rev it up to medium. So we'll be right back. Hi, this is Rachel. So this is, um, I've had to add about four tablespoons of flour to this. And it's still a little bit wet. I'm gonna see how it is once it rises. I'm gonna rise it for 45 minutes or until it doubles and we'll be right back. Okay, our our dough has doubled in size, and I'm going to have to flour it because it's very sticky. And we're going to we're going to work it a little bit just to it's very um, it's very sticky, and then I'm going to um, separate it into eight equal portions, and we'll be. We'll be right back when I get this under control. One. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and butter my um, pan here. It's a, a nine by nine by thirteen. A casserole dish. A casserole dish. Anyway, you can use a pan, a casserole dish, Pyrex. Okay, and I'm gonna show you me rolling these into a ball. They are growing back together. My yeast is very active. And as I speak, they are just reforming. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, I'm working these into balls. This is my method. I don't know what it is, but this is how I do rolls. And I'm going to set these in the... In the... Casserole dish. And... I'll be right back. You just take them and tuck them in under into a ball. These are very sticky. So I'll roll all these into a ball and we will be right back. We're going to stick these in the oven. We've used two pans because they were just too big. Um, for 350 for 20 to 25 minutes and we'll be right back. Hi, welcome back to Mama Four Boys. It's time to uh, taste test of these f fantastic Hawaiian rolls. They just came out of the oven, so I'm gonna. Uh, they haven't been cooling very long, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna slice this one with my bread with a knife here. Look at that! Just beautiful. I'm just cut the top off here. I'm gonna put a little butter on it. Give it a try. I like butter on my my bread, so I'm not going to get a different separate knife. I'm just going to use the one I have. All right. 
can't wait. Looks lovely. It smells great. And it's still very hot. <laughs> Talk about fresh bread. All right. All right, that's perfect. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. So much better than the ones you buy at the store. Plus, ours are bigger, but they, they're also, uh, this is just so nice and, and uh, flavorful. Uh, all the ingredients that Rachel put in when she made it, uh, you can taste. Uh, really, the, the pineapple that's in these and all the things that, that she put in it just makes it taste fantastic. So, please like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about Mama Four Boys and come back and see us. Watch all of our videos. Until the next time we see each other, have a great rest of your night. And God bless.